Assalamu alaikum. So, this is the last section of chapter uh, 9, 9.10. And now we're going to combine the ideas we've learned about Taylor polynomials and uh, power series to construct what we call Taylor series. Essentially, the main question of investigation here is in 9.9, .9, we had made power series for some functions by using the idea of geometric series. But the question now is what about functions in general, like sine of x or something? How can we make a uh, power series for it? So, for that, we have an important theorem. Series. If f of x equals, you know, a power series a n x minus c to the power of n and equals zero to infinity. Okay. If f of x can be represented as a power series um, centered at c, then Uh, these the, the the a sub n's right and the coefficients the nth coefficient is the value of the nth derivative of c over n factorial. This is just like the Taylor polynomial, okay? Uh, and thus f of x can be written. Okay, 
So let's start with this. If f of x equals a naught plus a one x minus c plus a two x minus c squared plus and so on, then f prime of x would be um, a one plus two a two x minus c plus three a three x minus c cubed, so on. F double prime would be <coughs> two a two plus three factorial. Factorial a three x minus c, right? Plus four times three times a four x minus c squared, right? and so on and so forth, right? You will have these things. Um, now, um, so the nth derivative would look like. What would the answer to look like? If you look at this thing, so here it all does this thing. So we have n factorial a sub n, right? Plus things that have x minus c in them. Now what you do is you, uh, on one hand, you assume that f of x has this form and you took the derivatives. If you plug in now the, uh, the values at c, so what is f of c? This is a naught. F of uh, F prime of C is A1. F double prime of C is 2A2, right? Uh, F nth prime of C is n factorial. This is also the for factorial there, AN. So from here you can see in general that the AN has to be F N of C over and factorial. And this is exactly what we are trying to show. Okay? That the nth coefficient of such a series is such a thing. Okay, so this completes the proof. This was the proof of that theorem. Right? And the next few lectures we will see how we start working with these newer series.